guys, Christine Stitch All The Things in my ridiculous looking cross stitch magnifier. Uh, yeah, this is what I wear when I cross stitch and my family is quite used to it by now. Uh, but we had some pretty entertaining comments there for a while. Um, I, I got my uh, new Yocto Sun um, magnifiers today and I wanted to talk a bit about these. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing but I'm also going to give a bit of a review and how I use my own magnifiers. Um, I wear these every time I stitch. I actually bought them to stitch in the car on a trip to Oregon and I, I don't even use them in the car anymore. I use them every day when I'm stitching. Um, so a few people were curious about these and I decided to to share a bit about them. Um, the reason why I ended up buying a new one, I referred to this the other day in my video, was that, um, well, you know what, let me get to the unboxing so that I can compare this one with, with the new one and show you. So I ordered these off of Amazon when I got them. Uh, I think they were like $14, $15. Um, and I got them Prime shipping because I have Prime. Uh, so when you get them, you open up the box and it I, it wasn't sealed or anything. I, this is exactly how I pulled it out of the package. And then inside you get a cleaning cloth for the lenses. You get some instructions that tells you what all of the... Um, various parts are and how it all goes together. You get, of course, <clears throat> the magnifiers. And you, they come with arms attached, but they also have a head a headband, elastic band, and I use this instead. I tried using the arms and I just, it was too uncomfortable for me. And then you get a, um, take that off, a case that has different lenses in them. And the lenses range from um, one times magnification uh, up to three and a half times. So you get a 1.0 magnification, 1.5, 2.0, and a 3.5 magnification. The ones I use all the time are 2.5. I have come to discover that though that's the best one for me when I'm stitching. That's the one that works best. Um, and then it also comes with three batteries that you can use uh, to start with it. Um, this part right here is where the batteries go. So um, briefly bef before I set up the new one, you can see right here there are no... It, has a nose piece with some little rubber um, covers on them. I took the nose piece off mine. Why? Because after a while I lost, uh, these started coming off. Now these aren't coming off right now, but they ended up with like a little crack along the edge there and then the, the rubber part would come off. I, I didn't put a drop of glue or something in there the last couple of times and I really should have. Um, and so that's why I ended up with the new one because basically this is just a sharp metal piece and when I lost one of the nose pad uh, covers, I had metal digging in, into the, not really digging, it just sort of sets there um, on the side of my nose. It got really uncomfortable. I looked everywhere for where this nose cover, piece cover could be, couldn't find it and so I thought you know, this is a good opportunity for me to actually get a new one, take it out of the box, and show you how it all goes together. Um, but what I had done in the meantime was I, uh, the nose piece here is just held on by two screws. It's one there and one there. Um, so I took it off, and I was using it, and it works fine, except I had to tighten this really tight. So this is pressed up really hot, hard against my head, and then sometimes it'll start slipping down. And I didn't like that, so I just thought, get a new one. And if I find the other nose piece, I'm going to put this back on and glue my nose nose pads on there. So if you find that your nose piece, the rubber cover comes off, put a little drop of glue in there and put it on and don't mess with that. Don't wait. 
Um, okay, so when you first get this, uh, you can decide to either keep your arms on or take them off. And all you do is right here is a little button and you just push it. I don't know how well this is going to work with my nails. My husband, I usually just hand it to him and say, can you please, because I don't want to mess with it. Um, let's see if I have one of my screwdrivers around here. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. Yeah, you just have to press this down because it's just a little plastic thing that pops up. And then it'll pull right out. Just like that. Do it with both sides. And I I tried both ways and stitched with both ways for a while to, to make sure that I found the way that I liked. I will say to start out with, if you get headaches a lot, uh, this is not something for you. The reason why is the batteries are sitting on your, the weight, I should say, of the batteries. This isn't that hard. It's really just my nails, and I just am not pulling this, pushing this plastic tab down enough to, to get it out. This is me, not it. Because you see, this is, hang on. Let's see if I can get it to focus. You just got to push this thing down, and it, oops, slides out this way. And I'm not pushing it down good enough because of these ridiculous right. nails. Thank goodness for my mister. <laughs> he just walked in and I asked him to help me take it out because these ridiculous nails. It's not that hard. Um, you just got to push down that little plastic piece, slip it out. Okay. Um, and then if you want the headband on, same thing. You just push push that in. And so that's all I did. And it clicks right in. Uh, it probably is a little tight at first just because it's new, but when you push those in, they'll click. And now it's set up headband style. Okay, batteries, like I was saying repeatedly, they go in this little compartment up here. There's a little um, piece you push down there and then you just pull out this and then you put in your three batteries. A quick note about batteries, these batteries when I put them in they take three AAA obviously come with it at first. Um, I use one set of batteries per week. I ended up, my husband and I use rechargeable batteries. So I, um, uh, we have a LaCrosse technology battery um, recharger with rechargeable batteries and so this is what I use and one charge lasts me probably somewhere between 25 to 30 hours I think I think I change them out like once a week um, and if I stitch a lot on the weekends it ends up being a little little bit more um, and so because I was going through batteries I would have been going through batteries quite a lot I was glad that my husband had this because I use it all the time now um, and I'll put a link to where I got the battery charger on Amazon, in case you wanted to know about that. Um, anyway, so you just put your batteries in here and close this back up. Now, I will note, before I move on from this, this part here is this rubber part that rests against your forehead. If you don't take off your makeup... Um, or just end up using it a little while. Yes, your skin cells will rub off in here. And I just take this off and I just clean it with a soft bristle, bristled brush, brush, like a, a little nail brush or something and some soap and, and clean this occasionally um, because that's gross if I don't, in my opinion. Okay, now um, I should probably put these batteries in. I'm going to fast forward this part so you guys don't have to wait for me to do this. Okay, there's a little ribbon in this battery compartment too so that when you go to take them out, you just pull the ribbon and the batteries pop out. Now when you get this set up and adjusted for yourself, the nose piece is a thin piece of metal you, and you can spread them open. You can move this back or forth. I wouldn't mess with that too much. I would find your your place and leave it because you don't want to bend a thin metal constantly. Uh, this has two adjustments. 
you can raise and lower this part here and then right here where your lens goes goes back and forth that way when you go to set this up you can get it figured fitted to where it works best for you um mine i can't remember now but i think it ends up being down one and sort of more tucked in towards my face um but i like to use the 2.5 magnification and this also i broke this my husband used some gorilla glue stuff to fix it um i'm trying to see verify yes it is 2.5 magnification and it tells you right in here there's a a tab and in there is molded the magnification number and you just stick it don't drop it because you don't want to do what I did and break your tab off you just press it in there push up and it clicks in and so now it is fairly well ready you just put it over your head of course adjust the headband And then you can move this up or down, this back and forth, and it is ready to go. Oh, except for the LED light is right here, and you just click it forward to turn it on and pull it back to turn it off. Um, I really do like this a lot. Um, I like not having to mess with the big lamp over me, um, over my work. Uh, it's not going to work for everyone, uh, and I know that. I'm just letting you know my own experiences, um, and some people are just like, nope, don't want to do it. Now, the bad, bad thing about this is you can't have your hair up, well, at least I don't have my hair up when I'm stitching with this because the ponytail or clip gets in the way. Maybe if it's a low ponytail or something, but I've not had good luck keeping my hair up and wearing these at the same time. That's just a side note if you have long hair or like to throw your hair up uh, when you stitch. Uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to stop the video and set up my stitching and show the camera angle so that you can see how it lights up the work, uh, how well it does. Um, and just, I think that'll, that'll probably be the end of the video. Uh, so here we go with that video now. Okay guys, um... I'm here. I just want to show you how the LED light brightens up my work area. Now, when I'm stitching, I am really in a low light area. It's even more low light than this. I just don't want to go in and record right now because my husband's in there watching TV. So, um, I dimmed the lights out in my room as much as I could. Um, and when I stitch, I'm usually fairly close to the piece. My head is probably... I don't know, 8 to 10 inches away, and then I turn on the light, and I adjust it. I forgot to tell you, the light will adjust in three different positions as well, so you can focus it to the area you want to work on. Um, and I hope this is coming up well in the video, because I'm, I can't see and give you the light at the same time. Uh, but anyway, it's fairly bright, I think. Um... And it works great for me because I've got my magnification, I've got my light that's centered in this area, and uh, the only thing I have to be careful of is when someone calls my name that I don't turn and look up at them because you can see the light's going to go right in their eyes. So I've gotten a little bit more careful about that um, since I started using these. Uh, so anyway, I hope, I hope this gives you a good idea of whether this will be useful to you or not, and I'm just messing with the different uh, positions I can put the light in and turn that off, and uh, I hope it's helpful to you. Uh, that's it. Okay, I hope that the this review, this unboxing was helpful. You know, I, I end up getting a little scattered with my thoughts, and I'm sorry that I do that. I start to go one direction and remember something that I want to say and I will try to get a lot better with with that um, but if you have any questions if there's anything I didn't cover about this that you would like to know a little bit more about please leave me a comment I will get back to you as soon as I can um, in the meantime thank you for watching thank you for subscribing um, and happy stitching and if you're Susanna
happy knitting and happy cro crocheting. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Talk to you later. Stitch all the things.